You're a voiceover artist looking to start, build, and grow a successful voiceover career. Right now, you may be confused as how to even start, or you're just simply stuck. That ends now. Let's get you started with this podcast, Steps to Voiceover Success. Hey, what's good? What's good? What's good, everybody? Hey, oh my gosh, welcome everybody coming in today. Look, happy new year. Uh, that's the last time I'm going to say this. Uh, yeah, we are on day six of the new year. Brand new schedule. You guys told me what you wanted. I'm giving it to you. We're doing this in 2023. This live broadcast, we're going to be here every Friday evening, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, just for you. The folks in my group voted on it. It's like, okay, what, what's the best time we want to do this? We're doing it right now now um yeah we got folks coming in here yeah what's up hey bill got glad to have you in the house uh with that we're going to be talking today about uh the process to basically process your audio like what are the steps you need to do this you know we're here if you don't know who i am my name is earl hall and i am here for you the voiceover artist that is looking to start build and grow a successful voiceover business. Melvin is in the house. What's going on, Mr. Melvin? Glad to have you in here, man. So glad to see all of you. So many folks in. Make sure you give yourself a shout out by letting me know that you're in the house so I can give you a shout out. Put your picture and your name up on screen like I'm doing right now from his Ruth is in the house. Hey, Ruth, how's it going? Uh, one of the uh, treasured members of our group, as all of you are that are in the group. If you don't know, look, you want to go to grind and quit, don't grind and don't quit dot com. Join the free group. You'll be amazed at what's going on over there. Uh, free training, uh, free courses, a, a group of dedicated folks that really want to start building and grow. A successful voiceover business, and I'm so glad to have them in here, just like Doug Mack uh, over there in Greensboro, North Carolina, trying to learn all he can. Hey, man, get in while you can fit in. Make sure that you get all of the info there. The thing about the group is it's not just some sort of arbitrary um, voiceover group. We we actually help each other. Uh, I want you to join right now. Grindedon'tquit.com. Just go there, join the group. It's free. You you got a free you got a free community. You got free courses to take. You've got access to me for free because I'm doing this every Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And guess what? If you're a member of the group, you can get a hold to my calendar of my live events like I'm having tomorrow, like I have every Saturday, 1 p.m. Eastern. It's our mastermind. We get together on Zoom. Links all right there. You got the calendar. You can see what time. You got the links. Everything going on. I got something in my nose. All right. You, you got the links right there in the calendar. The group is amazing. I love the interaction in the group. But here's the thing. Everybody's helping each other. It's, it's really the thing that I noticed in this, in this group that is so amazing to me. That everybody is helping each other. And the Saturday Mastermind, I mean, those Zooms are Utterly amazing. Anybody that's been on one of my mastermind sessions on like Saturday or like the last two weeks, we did it every Thursday because of the holidays, but it's normally every Saturday, 1 p.m. If you've been in, how is it? Tell me. I want your comment right now. If you've been in on one of those masterminds or all of them, what do you think about it? Is it impactful? Does it help? Look, join the free group, www.grindingquit.com grindedon'tquit.com that's where we do it that's where everything is going down in that saturday mastermind look one thing that voiceover artists do that i see especially brand new i i did it you did it you're doing it whatever you want to call it the thing that happens is is that when when it gets into the processing of our audio we can have a heavy hand on that thing and it gets distorted. It get, we think we're doing something amazing, but it's not. I'm telling you right now, less is more. On every part of what I'm about to show you, less is more. You're, 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 you're tweaking things too much. Uh, you're, you're adding too much to it. So let's go through a couple of things. So now, these are the things here. Um, let me just give some shout outs here. Uh, Pepper Stew 87 in Chicago. Welcome in, man. Um, Melvin, who's been on the Saturday sessions, has been a wealth of knowledge. Thank you. Appreciate that so much. Uh, William is saying it's great. Um, uh, Brian, here we go. Here, look, glad to have you. It, Brian was the new time, like most beneficial for you. You know, I'm assuming it is. All right. So 
these are the steps and there's actually five, five, five steps. That's all. All right. Once you lay down your audio track, now, obviously you've got to be in a good environment, right? That, that, that's the first key thing. Your environment is the first thing in your chain. And if your environment sucks, your audio is going to suck no matter what it is uh, that you do. So you want to get the environment right. Then obviously you got your microphone and then you got microphone techniques and all that kind of stuff. You don't want to be popping your peas all over the place. You know, <coughs> excuse me, bad, you know, bad input is going to produce bad output. And you really can't produce bad. You really can't produce good audio when you're starting off with with bad input going on. Thanks a lot, Brian. Appreciate that. Glad you're loving the new time as well. I'm loving it too. All right. The first thing you want to do after you lay your voice down, you want to take out your noise. That's step number one. That is step number one. Take out the noise. So how do you take out the noise? Now, there's a couple of ways, and I'm just going to go through like two of them, right? So you can use something called downward expansion. Now, if you don't know what downward expansion is, it's okay. Um, it's normally something that's used for use of like Adobe Audition. Um, and it's a way to see like when you lay down your track, one of the things you want to do is you want to have like two or three seconds. Let's just call it five, five seconds before you start speaking. What that five seconds is for is so there's a baseline of background noise, room noise, whatever you want to call it. You got that baseline. And then you want to start reading a script, whatever it is that you want. And then you want to have another five seconds at the end where you're not doing or saying anything. You're not moving around. You're not jingling keys, you know, all that other kind of stuff. Downward expansion, as well as the native plugins for noise reduction, doesn't matter if you're using Audacity, Adobe Audition, whatever you're using, right? So those two spots at the beginning and at the end, you can choose whichever one you want to use. But you're highlighting those spots. Basically, you're, you're highlighting them. Um... And your system is allowed to hear what the noise is. So if you're doing downward expansion, if you don't know what that is, we'll go over that another time. That's a little bit more involved. And usually I, I reserve that for Adobe Audition users. But if for Audacity users, you've got the native plugin that's there for noise reduction. And so there's examples or uh, Audacity rather. Audacity will give you the steps that you need to take. You highlight this, the spot you want to you know, get the noise from. Um, and then you get the noise print and then you can highlight the whole thing. And then you can basically take that noise out of the whole audio track. That's the first step you want to do. So, and I've got training on that at grinderdontquit.com. You can literally go in there and just get the training and see the steps that you need to take. Right. And so that's the first, the first thing you want to do. And then you also have different plugins like, like an NS1. Some of you may be familiar with different plugins like from Waves that will help you take out background noise because it is, you know, you want to clean up the audio as much as you can. That's why having a proper recording environment is so important because you won't have a lot of that background noise. And so this won't be a real issue. It'll be a real simple, easy process. All right. So now, and by the way, if you want to get some plugins, uh, you can do that. There's a link in the description here. Uh, you can get waves plugins by using my link. You get 10% off. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, so you can go ahead and do that. Pl the, the links are in the descriptions for that. Now, the next thing you want to do after you take out your noise is you want to take out your breaths because you don't want to have breaths in, 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 you know, most types of audio, especially let's just talk about commercial audio. Uh, for commercials that you'll produce, you don't want to have those breaths in there. That's kind of the thing, right? So you can take out breaths manually, which, you know, if it's only a one minute spot, you're not going to have that many breaths and you can go ahead and, and just kind of manually take those out. Um, and you'll start to be able to visually see them. The more that you do, you'll be able to literally recognize breaths as an audio, as a, as a wave pattern. Literally, you'll be able to recognize breaths as a wave pattern. And you'll be able to go right to them and take them out. Now, then there's another uh, plugin from Waves, and I know so many of us use it, um, whether you're using Audacity or whether you're using Adobe Audition or any, any of the DAWs, digital audio workstations, you know, the software you use to record your voice. You can go ahead and buy this, this plugin from Waves called Debreather or Debreath. Works like a charm. Works like a freaking charm. It actually recognizes the breaths and it takes the breaths out. It basically reduces them down to zero. Right now, when you do that, if you're using a deep breather, like the plugin I'm talking about, you want to make sure that you listen to the audio because you want to make sure that where those breaths are, um, 
that's going to be, you know, like a millisecond of, of space that you really don't need. And you just need to go in and be able to delete that stuff out. But the major part, the most important part is being able to take out the breaths, you know, with that. And again, if you want some of these plugins or whatever, link is in the description for waves, um, 10% off if you use my link, uh, for that. Uh, and the thing about that is I did a, um, a whole training session on, uh, me doing a Fiverr job from, from beginning to end. And so I show you literally, you're able to see my entire process. Um, even how I edit and, and, and produce and master my audio. And you see the plugins that I use for what I do. And I love my plugins because it helps me get the job done quickly, easily, no muff, no guff, no mess, no stress, you know, all that hype, all of that type of stuff. So if you want to see even the, uh, my process and what it is that I do join the group, grind, and quit, grind and don't quit.com. You can go into the course section, the classroom section, and you can actually see where I do the job and watch that little video and copy it. Just copy it. I've done all the work. You see how I do it. If you want to do it like I do it, Hey, get that and you'll be good. All right. So after you have taken out the noise and you've taken out your breaths, the next thing you want to do is your EQ. Now EQ is one of those things you can do with the native plugins that come with whatever DAW you're using, whatever software you're using to record your voice. Um, you can use the native plugins to be able to do your EQ. Now the EQ there's only a couple of things and you always want to have a light hand when you're doing this EQ stuff, when you're doing all this stuff, you want a light hand. You don't want to overprocess your voice. You don't, you do not want to overprocess it. So when you're talking about EQ, it's usually pretty simple. You're rolling off the bass and you're taking out uh, some of the trouble, basically some of the semblance. Now, what I mean when I say semblance is your highs, right? Your semblance is going to come into effect when you're saying S words. When you're saying S words, like what I'm saying right now, I just said a bunch of them in a string S words, like what I'm saying right now, there's going to be sometimes some sort of semblance that it sounds really harsh. And the more you do this, the better you get at hearing the semblance that's going on with that. And you'll be able to take it out and you'll actually be able to pinpoint the semblance. Um, I can do a training on that. If anyone's interested in semblance and how to get those harsh S's out by using just something specifically at EQ, um, if you're using the native plugins like in Audacity and in Adobe Audition, whatever DAW you're using, you can actually pinpoint, literally pinpoint your semblance and be able to take all of that out throughout your entire process. So that's the thing. And then also you've got plugins and waves that'll help you do that as well. I, obviously I love waves plugins. I've been using waves plugins forever. It seems like, um, cause they just get the job done. Again, link is in the description. If you want to get that 10% off for those. After you do your EQ, then you want to do your compression. That's where you're fattening up your audio. Basically, all compression is, is taking the, the highest parts of the audio and bringing it down and the lowest parts of the audio and bringing it up so that you don't have this big uh, uh, despair. Dis, what's the word? Despair. There's a big difference between the the highest points, like your loudest points and your and your softest points, right? So your compression helps pull all of that together. I like to call it fattening up because when I look at it in my DAW, I use Adobe Audition. So when I'm looking at it, um, I, I can see it's like fattened. It's like, ah, and you start sounding really good when you do compression the right way. I use a plugin from Waves um, that helps me do all of those types of things. Uh, and you can see that when you go and take a look at, um, that video that I did on my Fiverr job from beginning to end, you join grind and don't quit.com. You, you're going to have free access to it. You got free access to all my training, all of it. You've got a community. You've got me there. Um, every Saturday, 1 PM Eastern live on zoom. I, I am loving the Saturday sessions and I'm so looking forward to the Saturday for, for tomorrow session. Um, if you're watching this live, it's Friday and it's just after it's 6 15 PM on Saturday on Friday evening. Um, so if you're watching a replay, Hey, you can still go join grind don't quit.com. All of the, the, the Saturday zoom sessions I actually record and I put them in our classroom so that you can go back and watch those Saturday sessions The I call them the AMA sessions. Ask me anything AMA. So you'll see that in our classroom. Uh, where you can go get the, uh, the AMA stuff, ask me anything. Now, after you've done, you've taken out your noise, you've taken out your breasts, you've done your EQ, you've done your compression. The last thing is normalize. And most people normalize to negative three dB. That's 
that's pretty much the standard. You normalize it to negative three dB. Now, here's the reason you're normalizing it to negative three dB. In in some cases, when you're doing your audio, you're actually sending it off to another place, uh, like to someone that's going to add in whatever they want to add into it. Like if it's like Ford or GM or whatever, and they just want your voice and then they're going to add in music and do all this other kind of stuff to it. So you normalize it to negative three DB so that they have headroom to go all the way up to negative one. Now, if you're processing your own audio, you may want to go ahead and do it up to negative one. And then, you know, you can add in your music and all that other kind of stuff. Uh, but what I would do is I would normalize it to negative three DB first. Then I would put in my background music if that's necessary. I would get all that straight. Then I would normalize it to negative one because now we're not clipping. We're not going overboard. Uh, we're not getting distorted. We're not doing any of those things. And it sounds like hot. It sounds like hot. All right. I, I, I've been seeing, you know, questions or, or comments coming in. Um, so I'll go back and kind of take a look at what everyone is saying. Uh, man, you guys have been talking in here since I've been talking. All right. Uh, let's see. All right, so we, I'll go back all the way here. Melvin is saying, uh, I think I said this, it's been a wealth of knowledge. He's talking about the Saturday sessions. Bill is saying it's great, uh, br- uh, the Saturday sessions. Brian, here we go, here, he's here. Uh, he's from New York. All right, great. We've got Derek. I'm totally new to this. Where are you, Derek? There you are. I'm totally new to this. I'm excited to learn. I'm officially, I officially have a mic and you are, hey, you're right to go, man. You're ready right to go. So let's move this thing, Derek. Glad to have you. Um, Derek, did you join the, the group here, grindedontquit.com? Are you a member of the community? Because that's where it's happening, buddy. That's where it's happening, Captain, is right there. So make sure that, Derek, if you have not joined, make sure that you joined. Um, Girl for God, Elias. Hey, Grinded Don't Quit family. Uh, glad to have you here. John, gar- uh, garbage in, garbage out. Exactly. That's what we're talking about. You got to get your recording environment right so that, you don't have no garbage going in. You're not going to have any garbage coming back out, right? Uh, you're more than welcome, Jim. Glad to have you here. Bill, hey, grind, uh, G for G. I don't know what that is. I'm trying to think of what G for G is. You got to spell it out for me, Bill. All right. Uh, got the plug-in uh, today. Uh, what plug-in did you get, Bill? W- which plug-in? Is it the debreather that you got? I'm assuming that's probably what you're talking about. Uh, the debreather. Uh, Anthony saying finally made it. Thanks for your instruction for us. Those of us just starting in VO appreciate it. Thank you, Anthony. I definitely appreciate that. Anthony, I'm assuming you're also a member of the grind don't quit.com. You got to be a member. That's, that's where it's all happening. I got, I got some, I got some special, I got some special for all of my folks in the community, by the way. Right. Um, girl for God, Elias is saying, is there anything to help with plosives? Oh, that's all about your microphone technique. Um, I'll go, let me see if I can do this real quick. All right. You, you, plosives are something here like pop and peas is, is what she's talking about with plosives. Right. And that comes down to microphone technique. You can't really see it from this angle, but I'll try and kind of hyper do it here. Um, to kind of show you what I mean. There's a, a technique. Like if you look at where my mouth is and I'm going to go straight out from my mouth, you see, it's not hitting the mic. It's straight out from my mouth. It's not even hitting the mic straight out, but you're hearing me really good. And the, that's a microphone technique where I've got my microphone, but it's kind of off to the side at an angle so that I'm kind of talking through, but my audio, my voice is actually going into the microphone, but I'm not talking directly into it. That way I'm not, there's no air hitting the element inside of the microphone. That element inside of your microphone is like a little disc, right? But it's sensitive to air. And when that air comes out of your mouth and you're saying P words, anything that has the air coming out like P, you know, or T, all that type of stuff. Like I just did a P and I did a T, but you're not getting any plosives. You're just hearing the words. You're, you're, you're hearing the sound. But when you have your microphone directly in front of your mouth, and now my microphone is in directly in front of my mouth. So when I do a P, did you hear that? When I, when I do plosives, you're hearing that, right? I'm doing plosives and I'm popping my P's. The reason I'm popping my P's is because that element on the inside of the microphone is being shifted and shaken by the air coming out of my mouth. So when I say P words, I'm popping my P's and you can hear it. But when I move it off to the side and I say pop in my P's, you're not hearing that. I hope that made sense. 
All right. Um, uh, John Clark is saying this information is pure platinum. Thank you so much. Hey, Yada, glad to have you in here. Um, uh, hope you're well, Bill. Let's see what else is here. Um, just going down. I got something coming up for you guys in the group too, by the way. Got a special surprise. Um, uh, Brian is asking, do you record the Friday sessions too? Yeah, it's on YouTube. This is being broadcast live on YouTube. So it's recorded and it's right there on YouTube. Every Friday uh, that I do a live stream. Absolutely. Um, all right. Um, Girl for God, Elias is saying, the community is great. Thank you so much. Uh, Ruth is saying, so all the music and special effects go in at three, negative three dB and then take it out at one dB. No, Ruth, it, no, no. It, it would be a special training. And actually, if you watch that, how I did my Fiverr gig, you'll kind of see that. But adding in music is, is, is another kind of training that needs to be done. I can't do it real quick right here on that. But if you watch the training, it'll kind of show you there, but it's something that I can sp explain more like in a one-on-one -on -one for a special case study or whatever. And that's the thing too. If you guys want to set up a one-on-one -on -one with me, you can do that. It's only 97 bucks and you get your information like right there. You don't have to go searching. Uh, we're going to spend an hour together planning out your strategy, whatever issues you have with your DW on how to do this and how to do that. I can specifically deal with you one-on-one -on -one, and it makes a whole lot more sense because it's just you and me. And we're talking about your situation, your DAW, your recording space, your microphone. There's no ambiguity to it. It gets right to the point. And it, the learning curve is just cut in half. Not even half. It's just the learning curve is obliterated with that. If you're interested in doing uh, a one-on-one -on -one with me, just connect with me in the community. Shoot me a DM and we can set something up. I know I've got a one-on-one -on -one coming up right at the bottom of the hour. So, oh, I need to hurry up and talk because someone has a one-on-one -on -one with me at the bottom of the hour. Um, with that, uh, let's see, um, let's go here. Uh, got, uh, God for a girl, Elias. Uh, wow. Thank you, Earl. Yes. My mic is right in front of me. Exactly. That's, I'm glad that microphone technique thing kind of, kind of helped. Bill is saying I'm slow typist. So I shortened girl for God to girl. Oh, G for G. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Thanks, Bill. Cause I, I, I couldn't think all I had in my mind was grind to don't quit. I couldn't understand what that was you're more than welcome ruth i'm glad for that I, i'm i'm hoping that this and you want to make sure look i want to see all of you on the live ama ask me anything tomorrow now here's the reason why you want to be there the ask me anything is live on zoom which means that we can share our screens and the people that have been on my amas on saturdays you know i'll say share your screen with me now don't come don't come on the ama and ask me questions and be driving in your car. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No value in that. I mean, you can listen in, but I mean, you, you can do what you want. Listen in. But if you've got a question for me, it's going to be hard for me to help you. Especially if it's kind of an in-depth question. And I say, share your screen so I can show you how to do what you need to do, which I do all the time on my AMAs. You want to be on your laptop or computer sitting in your studio. That's where you want to be. Headphones on microphone on camera on with the ability to on zoom share your screen and then we can go through and, and do what needs to be done if you're in your car we're not going to be able to do that if you're on your your uh tablet for instance uh you're not recording your audio on your tablet you know you're you're recording your audio on your computer or your laptop using your daw your daw is not on your tablet or your iPad, right? So you want to be on your computer or laptop with your DAW open or whatever you need open so that we can actually get to the point, right? And here's the other thing. Let, let me give you some help. First of all, who's going to be on the AMA tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern? Let me know. So just put it in comments if you're going to be there. All right, so when you're on your laptop or your computer, you're literally in, the, you're, you're in your workspace. And that's why we can really get to the point. If you seriously want help, you want to be in a position to get the help, right? Well, this is a free service that I'm doing. So I want you to get the maximum out of this because you're going to have questions. And believe me, people are going to come in and a lot of people are going to have the same question. Don't, here's the thing about the AMA, the ask me anything. If you're coming in the AMA, don't just come in the AMA to, to be a fly on the wall. 
Come into the AMA to get an answer to a question that you have. Because why else are you there? You need to be there to get the answers to the questions that you have, right? So I want you to make sure that you are there. Um, let's see. Uh, Iado saying he'll be there. Ruth is saying he's going to be there. Um, Melvin is saying I'm going to try my best. That's kind of like. That's funny. I, I have some. I've had some some commentary with some folks about that. Okay. Um, good. Uh, Bill is saying he's going to be there, and girl for God, Elias. Uh, G4G, as Bill would say, uh, <laughs> is going to be there as well. This is going to be um, an amazing session, and I'm definitely looking forward to it. I'm looking here in my, just seeing what the, all that is stuff is. But I'm, I'm so glad that you guys have been here today. Um, I, I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Um, oh, Yato66 is saying that uh, Mike arrived. Sound will be, will be better lol awesome 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 look i've got some new stuff coming out and i was i was telling you i got this, this stuff for people in the group we've got a monthly contest that we're going to be doing you already know bill won the contest for for december he had the most engagement uh he helped most he he was in there active in the community right he was in there active so he got a free hat and you, if you saw if you're in the community you saw the video i did where i ordered the hat for him, right um, he was the most active in the group. This is what I want to do. And we're going to be taking the top four people in January. And we're going to be doing this consistently over the next month. And this is what's going to happen. I'm going to be doing a special broadcast. And I want to talk to you guys. You guys know about my voiceover voices interviews that I do. It's kind of something like that. But what I want to do is bring together the four top people in my group. And you do that by looking at the leaderboard. The leaderboard shows who's the most active in the group, who's the most helpful, um, who's produced it, it shows. So that's the leaderboard. That's the standard because this community is about helping each other and being active. This is not just some sort of random Facebook group, right? So you want to make sure <clears throat> that you're participating in the group because at the end of this month, I'm going to be doing and taking the leaderboard, the top four, I'm bringing you all on a program and we're going to have an honest, open discussion about voiceover. We're going to be talking about what it takes to start building, grow a successful voiceover business. We're going to be talking about what you're doing and don't think ah, I'm not really doing anything. Yes, you are because everybody is starting somewhere and you're ahead of somebody in this whole game. So I want to make sure that these voices are being heard and brought together. So I want to, we're going to use this as a standard. We're going to use the leaderboard in our community because if you're active in the, in the community, it means that you're actively helping other people. You're actively producing the content in the group that is beneficial for everyone else because it is not just about me and my voice, it's about you and yours as well. So I want you to start participating in the community because towards the end of the month, I'm going to be reaching out to the top four people on the leaderboard. That's it. If you want to be on my show, be on the leaderboard and we're going to be picking the top four people. Bill is continually blowing everyone else away. So you're going to have to do something to get rid of Bill, <laughs> but we're going to be taking the top four people every month. So that's going to be something that's coming up. I'm in the midst of writing a brand new book. I'm going to be talking about that more and more. And I want you to know, let me grab it right now. Um, I'm looking for people. Look, do you have this book? Do you have this book? Do you have this book? Now, if you've, you've, you've got these books, right? I want you to take a picture of these books. If you've got them, I don't care if you've got them on Kindle or if you've got them on paperback or whatever. I want to see where my crew is, what my crew is doing. I want you to take a picture of yourself with these books or whatever book you have. And I want you to post it in the group. And I want to celebrate you for having these books and giving you a thank you for purchasing my books because I definitely appreciate it as well man you guys are talking uh penny saying she's going to be there um girl for god elias is laughing probably at the 4g uh g4g um uh, what else we got here uh phoenix is saying got my first fiverr job whoa 170 bucks man let's go for that um ayata uh, is congratulating that um got g for g is saying look you already got a nickname g for g right i can't wait to learn more so that i can bring something to the group for real for real absolutely we got a couple laugh out louds um man uh wow 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 look i want you folks to be in the house tomorrow 1 p.m eastern standard time join the group uh grindingdon'tquit.com let's do this thing together in 2023 okay let's do it together let me know below 
below in the comments, wherever. You know what? Talk, don't talk to me in the group because you can DM me in the group. And guess what? I'll answer you back as well. I'll see everybody, all of you guys tomorrow, 1 p.m. Eastern for the AMA. Join the group, grindingdon'tquit.com. Let's get this thing going. Hey, you are so valued here, and I want to thank you for just listening, commenting, and sharing. You can tune in live every Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on my YouTube channel, and you can also subscribe to the Steps to VoiceOver Success podcast on your favorite podcast platform. Links are below. I'll see you on the next episode. Go record some amazing voiceover.